Yeah, well, this took only 15 minutes or so. But um, now we've got a little problem. And you probably can see this here on the old rail. Um, yeah. See, it makes a little bit of a curve. And I think it follows the roof, which is not straight. So, these extenders I built, the holes don't fit anymore now. Because I was under the impression the roof is, um, well, straight, but it's not, it's a bit curved. Yeah, you can see it clearly here with this rail. I pushed it down here to get it in, but I don't want to actually do that. Well, I suppose it doesn't make a difference if you put the solar panels on top of it. So maybe I just push it down. I can show you this one here. So this is how it's supposed to be with the L bracket and the rail system. And we, uh, we would have five centimeters of clearance. So you barely get your arm underneath here if you want to do something, if you want to clean something out or any of the cables need to be disconnected or something. Very hard to get underneath. Yeah, let's have a look here. We've got 13.5. Well, I haven't I haven't tightened the screws yet. So, uh, yeah, 13.5. This gives us enough room to get underneath here, even with both arms. Even a battery drill is no problem to get underneath here. We've got far more clearance. So that's the original one. You can see the tiny gap here. There's probably three fingers. And here, one and a half fists easily. I like this much better. I like this a lot better, really. And you know, like today when we get these westerly winds, the wind gets underneath and cools the panels down. So, ideal. Especially in summertime. When we've got over 40 degrees here. You want to cool the panels as much as possible. I think I go for this. What do you think? Yeah, well, I haven't tightened this one yet. It'll be fine. Okay, so all bolts and nuts, bits and pieces, everything is now tight. And this is how it is then. We still have got a bit of clay in there, but we've got the same here. I think once the solar panels are mounted, actually we've got the structure right. And it stabilizes itself then. It becomes a unit. Okay, I think I prepare more of these um, extenders and put them on the other side as well. Alright guys, that's it for this video today. Don't forget to subscribe so we get to the 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.